as soon as I give them any algorithm task, they start either writing it on paper and get completely lost, or they get out whichever program they're using, which tends to, for us to be either C Sharp or Greenfoot, and then they get completely lost in converting things from integers to, to text to whatever they worry about text boxes, and it all just fails miserably for them. Um, so what I was trying to do here was to make something which enables them to do nothing but write an algorithm, basically write pseudocode, and it does nothing else. Uh, and my mindset was, I don't know if that's big enough to see, was they should be able to write anything that looks vaguely like pseudocode, and it should compile. And it shouldn't really worry about all kinds of things, and it should produce a nice ta trace table for them. So, for example, that bit of code up there says input A, so it puts a box up for them to input A. The next book box says input B, so they put in another one. And then a simple if comparison, a trace table, and up on the right-hand side we've got things going there. And the basic idea is that they can write things in all kinds of rough and ready formats, and it should work. Um, including, let me just find, is that the right example? That's not. Including things where they haven't got the correct... Um, uh, things, let me just find the right, that one in. So that one example there, that calls a method called um, stop, it calls a method called speed up, and it calls a method called go, depending on what they've selected in their case statement, which they haven't written. So obviously in most cases, it would just, it would just not run. Whereas this says, if you've selected something, can't type, it will just tell you, you haven't written a function, this function, but if you had written this function, it would run at this point. Whereas, whereas, clearly, if they'd tried to do that in any real program environment, it would just refuse to compile. And that, that just frustrates them and drives them mad. So, in essence, what I'm trying to do, it's not yet finished, which is why I'm so nervous about standing up here among lots of really professional, high-quality programmers, is to say, if you have issues in teaching your students algorithms, I'm not trying to say this is an alternative to things like Scratch or, or, or real programming languages, this is purely for saying, getting the algorithmic bit done, thinking about simple algorithms, because we're doing this at, at all kinds of ages. We're doing it at year eights. So we're trying to get them to think in algorithms, and they just get tied up. So the concept is make it dead simple, make it tolerant of all kinds of simple mistakes, make it not have to put brackets around print statements, but if they want to say print, open brackets, it will work. If they want to say print, don't put bra <coughs> brackets around, it will work. If they put a variable name, it will attempt to try and put the variable value. If it can't find a variable value, it will just print out what it was. It will just basically be as forgiving as it conceivably can be. Um, it works, I had to launch up Firefox there because I know at the moment it doesn't actually work properly in many versions of Internet Explorer, for example. So it's still a work in progress. All I wanted to say in this brig and brag session was, if you have similar problems with teaching your pupils algorithms, as opposed to teaching them real programming languages, teaching them Java or C Sharp or whatever language you teach them, I'm not trying to address that problem at all. I'm trying to address the problem of them thinking algorithmically. If that's an issue to you, then just have a chat with me um, and, and, and see if we can do anything together. As I say, it produces, produces a trace table at the bottom. You can put breakpoints in it so it forces it to break and so you can inspect what's going on. Um, basically, if that's your issue, have a, have a talk to me sometime over, the, over the, today or tomorrow and see if we can do anything together to, to take it further. Okay, thank you. That was it.